I came to challenge us this year, Revival House. We can't continue like this. We call for prayer meeting. Today you come, tomorrow you are not there. And when they don't come to call you from your house, you are angry. Your pastor may pity you. Your pastor's wife may feel sorry for you. But I want to let you know that there is one who holds the marking scheme. And he's no respecter of persons. How old are you before the ancient of days? How old are you before the ancient of days? What qualification do you have? What do you think you know before the ancient of days? When you stand before him, you will have no words to say. I want us to take away our eyes from the challenges of our time and make up our mind that in 2024, we are going to arise. I pray that as you rise up, may this prophecy be fulfilled in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. If I'm talking to you, shout it louder. Amen. So arise, means to wake up to spiritual responsibilities. Wake up to spiritual responsibilities. What are those responsibilities? Wake up in your place of prayer. Wake up in your place of the study of the word of God. Wake up in the place of your service to God. Wake up in the place of evangelism. Wake up and do the work of God the way God wants it to be done. As you do it, may he glorify himself through you in the mighty name of Jesus. The next instruction says, shine. It is one thing to rise up. It is another thing to do what? Shine. This light in this room is hanging here. It's shining without stress. And the reason why we are gathered like this and we are not perturbed and we are so calm is because the light is doing its work. The light is shining. Hallelujah. This is my cap. Amen. The reason why this light is working like this and we are as calm as we are is because the light is just shining without stress. I pray to God that as you shine, may people come to your shining. <laughs> Do you know that some of the things you wrote down will only come to you because you will shine? If you refuse to shine, what you wrote will just remain a prayer request. You have to raise up and begin to shine. Somebody say, how do I shine? Let's see 1 John chapter 1 verse 6. 1 John chapter 1 verse 6. 1 John chapter 1 verse 6. It says, if we say that we have fellowship with him and we walk in darkness, we lie and we do not practice the truth. If we say we have fellowship with the light, and yet our walk is in darkness. Then we are not reflecting the light we say we have fellowship with. We lie and we do not practice the truth. When we shine, we shine when we walk with the word of God. We shine when we allow the life of God, the life of the word of God in us to reflect and impact our generation. And impact our society and impact the church. Some people say, I'm a Christian. I have come to the light. The only way we know that you are shining is when we begin to see your activities in the church. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. If you are in the ushering department, shine as an usher. You shine as an usher when you begin to do the work that you are supposed to do. And the body of Christ where you represent is blessed. If you are in the pastorate, shine as a pastor. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Shine as a pastor. Let your congregants be happy and thank God that they have a pastor like you. There are some congregations where the members are ashamed for them to identify with their pastor because of his character and his attitude. Somebody is fighting in town. They say they saw your pastor fighting somewhere. They are calling people that stole. They call your pastor's name. Somebody is chasing women somewhere. They say your pastor is around that area. I'm sure some of you here will be ashamed to be identified with such a pastor. When the Bible says we should shine, it says we should allow our life to impact anywhere we are. In your office, impact people with your life. In the church, impact people with your life. Hallelujah. Praise God. In the marketplace, impact people with your life. May we not gather together every time we are solving one problem or another for church members, 
who broke into that house. They say it's a church member. They are calling senior pastor. Okay, uh -huh, senior pastor, there's one of your members in the police station. Go and bail him. Oh, there's armed robbery somewhere. They say, ah, the person is a member of Revival House Church. That's not how to shine. When the Bible says we should shine, the Bible is saying we should reflect the life of Christ. Hallelujah. We should do what? Reflect the life of Christ. So as we leave this place and we go out there, every word of God we hear here, let us go there and reflect it. You see, these things I'm saying, I don't know if we have understanding, but I pray that God will give us understanding. That prayer request you wrote down is not a problem. God can do everything. But it is whether you can keep this side of the bargain. Will you arise? Will you wake up to your spiritual responsibility? Are you ready to shine? Are you ready to live the kind of life that God wants you to live this year? This one that it is one leg in and one leg outside. Some of us, we do church small, drink alcohol small. Do church small, smoke small, small. Do church small, do boyfriend and girlfriend small. Do church small, steal small. Do church small, tell lies small. That prayer request will remain like that in your hand. God doesn't play kalu kalu now. God is not his calm. If you must arise, then he wants you to shine. Every message that will be preached from January to December, Next week now, we are starting fasting and prayer 21 days. And some people can fast, but will they shine? If you fast without shining, you won't see the result. Though. You will just be on hunger strike. You say, because I'm fasting, I'm not going to quarry. Let me finish the 21 days fast, then I will show you my true color. That fasting will remain a fast. Everything you wrote down will remain on paper. You say, because I'm fasting, I won't drink. Alcohol should be suspended for 21 days. But after the 21 days fast, you are going back to that bottle. You are not shining. Hm. Because you are fasting, you say, you know I'm fasting. So it, it, they shout on me, I don't used to reply. But I'm writing everything down. When I finish, I will come back. And I will remind you that on the 25th of January, this is what you said to me. I haven't forgotten. I didn't answer you that day because I was fasting. But thank God we have finished the fasting now. So come and explain to me what you said on the 12th. What did you say? What did you mean by that? You continue from where you stopped. Sweetheart, you are not shining. Anything that you are going to drop, drop it forever. He says we should arise and then we should shine. Shining is living, align the life of Christ that is in you to be manifested to your generation. Let this year be the best year of your life. You are going to live the Christ side of your life to your society in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that this year people will testify that, ah, you have changed. You were not like this before. The way you talk has changed. The way you, the way you do things has changed. The way you relate with people has changed. And it has changed for the better in the mighty name of Jesus. So we arise and we shine. When we shine, he said then because our light has come. And the light is what we are intermingling with right now. We are intermingling with truth. He says, the light of God has come. We arise and we shine. Then the glory of the Lord has come upon us. Now let's look at verse 2. Verse 2. Verse 2. Verse 2. He said, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Deep darkness shall come upon the people. I'm not really, I believe in what God tells me from his, from his word. But if you are following the prophecies of the 2024 online, you will hear that there are many things that are said about 2024 that if you are a Christian, you'll be covering yourself with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. You tell yourself, this is not going to be my portion. But even before they said it, the scripture has said it already. It said, darkness shall come upon the earth. Deep darkness shall come upon the people. But, thank you Jesus. That is where my solace is. But, the Lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you. I pray that that shall be your own revelation. That shall be your own testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. People are saying that the economy this year is going to be terrible. They are already prophesying it. People are saying this year there is going to be a lot. In fact, some people have said things will happen in January. Some things will happen in the month of April. A lot of things are going to happen before the year comes to an end. That one is not a problem. Because Isaiah chapter 60 verse 2 has said it. He said darkness shall come upon the earth. Thick darkness shall come upon the people. But the glory of God that I have is there is a bot. There is a bot. And that bot is my own. Even if I hear it, I say there is a bot that God is going to arise over me and his glory shall be seen upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Why is the glory of God going to be seen upon me? Because Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, If only I can arise, if only I can shine, the glory of the Lord is coming upon me. And that glory is the only thing that is going to deliver me from the darkness that will be coming upon the earth. The gross darkness to be coming upon the people of the earth. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We'll be wrapping up very soon. Let's go to verse 3. Verse 3. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 3. Yes. It says, Then Gentiles shall begin to come to your light. Mm, and kings to the brightness of your rising. Everybody who will take this word to heart and challenge the Holy Ghost and say, Holy Spirit, I am going to rise and I am going to shine. This prophecy is your own. He says, as you arise and as you shine, Gentiles shall begin to come to your light. Gentiles shall begin to come to your light. Gentiles shall begin to come to your light in the mighty name of Jesus. And kings will come to the brightness of your rising. It means yeah, your association is changing this year. You've been associating with, no, associating with normal people before. Important people are going to start looking for you. Important people are going to start looking for you. Oh my God, you don't understand. Important people will start looking for you. People you used to admire from afar. As you rise and as you shine, this year, they shall start looking for you in the name of Jesus. They are coming to the brightness of your rising in the name of Jesus. If you are the one I'm talking to, jump up and shout a louder, Amen. I like that one. I like that one. I like that one. Kings are coming to the brightness of my rising in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's look at verse 4. Let's look at verse 4. Let's look at verse 4. Thank you, Jesus. He said, lift up your eyes all around and see. Ah, they all gather together. They come to you. They are coming to you. This prophecy is coming to pass in your life. Oh. If you don't claim it, me, I receive it. And as it happens, I will come back and tell you that that prophecy I read that day, it has happened in my life. Ah, they all will come together. He said they are coming to you. I'm not talking to everybody. They are coming to you. They are coming to you. They are coming to you. In the name of Jesus, your sons shall come from afar. Your sons shall come from afar. Your sons shall come from afar. Oh my God. You know why I'm talking like this? I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. You see, people shall be begging that you will be their father. You don't understand. You don't understand. People will be begging you to be their father. If you understand, you will. Oh my God, I don't know how to explain it. So that will be your testimony in 2024. <laughs> you will spend money from children that you never saw. They are coming to your rising. I said they are coming to your rising. They will call you their mother. They will call you their father. They will call you their uncle. In the name of Jesus. Mm. He said your sons shall come from afar. He said your daughters shall be nursed at your side. And that shall be your portion. Finally verse 5. Verse Rise up on your feet everybody. Verse 5 everybody. Masha say. Then you shall see. You shall become radiant in the name of Jesus. I say you shall become radiant in the name of Jesus. Your heart shall swell with joy in the name of Jesus. Remember this prophecy. There is still thick darkness. Oh. There is still thick darkness. Oh. There is still darkness on the people. Oh. There is still thick darkness on other places. Oh. But for you, he said your heart will swell with joy. Your heart will swell with joy. Your portion is not their portion. Your portion is different from their aim. Because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. Eh, that means the riches in hidden places is going to locate somebody here. It's not for everybody. I claim that one. The riches in hidden places is locating me this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. The wealth of the Gentiles shall come to you. They shall come to you. They shall come to you. In the name of Jesus. If your amen is louder, shout a big aim. See. I will wrap up. I, un I understand a little of what I'm saying. To the glory of God, when I hit one point something million views, I started having daughters from US. I want you to be my mother in the Lord. I want you to be my, my yes. I want you to be my mother. I'm in Lokoja. That is why he said, your sons and daughters shall come from afar. Some people say they are going to visit from Abuja. They just want to come and greet. See, this scripture is true now, but it will only happen when you rise. If you don't rise, kings cannot come to your rising. That gift that you have, don't let it die. This year, don't
don't let it die. We have many talented and gifted people in the Revival House Church. Thank God for this church. It has given us a platform. A platform to announce us to the world from your keyboard, from your drum, from your singing, from your worship. This choir can be heard in the U.S. But it will only happen if you arise. My prayer is that don't continue doing things the way you are doing and expect 2024 to be different. Then you will start blaming church. You will start blaming pastor. You say, I'm changing church. Let me go to that one on the mountain. That place, they say there is power. They used to give people water. I pity you. I pity you. If this version of your life does not change, things can never come. It will not be pastor's fault. It will not be pastor's fault. It will not be the church fault. It is your fault. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1. It says, arise. It says, shine. Arise. Wake up to your spiritual responsibility. Shine. Live a life of impact. Only then will the glory of God come upon you. And only then will kings come to your rising. I pray that this year kings will come to your rising. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can you lift up your hands and begin to talk to God and say, Father, any department of my life that is still stagnated, any department of my life that I'm still crippled, in the name of Jesus, this year I will arise. This year I will shine. The glory of God must be risen upon me this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Anywhere that my life, my life is struggling, my spiritual life is struggling, my prayer life is struggling, my devotional life is struggling, my Bible life, study life is struggling. Father, have mercy upon me. If there are sins, sins, iniquity, things I'm doing that I'm not supposed to be doing, oh God, I come to you today, I ask for forgiveness, I ask for mercy. I receive strength to be delivered from the power of sin in the mighty name of Jesus. This year, is my year of rising. This year is my year of shining. This year the glory of the Lord shall be risen upon me. This year the forces of the Gentiles shall locate me. This year the abundance of the seas shall come unto me. This year, oh God, in the name of Jesus, glory will surround me. Glory will be in me. Glory will be on me. In the mighty name of Jesus. My shaka telebrandaska. Kings will come to my rising. This year in the name that is above every name. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In one minute I want you to to pray in the Holy Ghost. Just pray in the Holy Ghost in one minute. Talk to God.